Our devotional today is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 13, verses 3 to 14. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord. And rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Amen. Everything Jesus did in the flesh on earth was either for our sake or for our teaching. He bowed humbly and washed the feet of his disciples. He has set us an example that we should do as he has done for us. Jesus told Peter when he refused to let him wash his feet, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Jesus was washing his disciples of pride and transferring his spirit of humility to them. In order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, we must be humble as our Lord is. St. Peter in his first epistle, chapter 5, advises us saying, All of you, class yourselves as human towards one another, because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Jesus gave us a command to love one another as he has loved us. Pride and love cannot come together. If we are full of pride, we cannot love one another. We cannot obey this command without humbling ourselves and washing one another's feet. He said, those who love me are those who obey my commands. May we all be humble ourselves and be in the image and likeness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.